For this project, we just had to do a minimalist piece and it was supposed to center on the idea of containment. So we all had a four by eight sheet of plywood that we had to use and we had to use like as much of the material as we could to not have a lot of waste. So I thought there's not much more minimal than a cube. Um, so I contained a cube in a cube uh, and I wanted to suspend it in the air just so it kind of appeared like it was floating there. I mean, the, you know, the fourth dimensional space is kind of hard to visualize, but it's like outwards, I guess. So I thought the outside cube would kind of be that fourth dimensional area. I took a lot of inspiration from Carl Andre because he watched a video in class and he was saying that like, you start like on the ground and whatnot, like playing on the ground. It reminded me a lot of like playing with blocks when I was younger and I used to like enjoy playing with blocks and building things. That was always like one of my favorite things to do. I liked the idea of constantly changing because I feel like during life, you don't just stay static. When I found out we were doing the project on minimalism, I thought to myself, I, I kind of just want to make a shelf. I cut it out in the CNC machine after like designing it and then a lot of like gluing things together. Like I probably used up most of the clamps we have here. This thing was maybe carrying like 24 clamps on it sitting on the table for like at least a good hour and then got hit up with the nail gun so it at least is somewhat stable. I actually thought that this piece was gonna be a lot smaller. Um, it was intended to hold a light and cast shadows that would kind of look like the way the trees cast shadows on the ground when you're outside. Uh, it came out a lot bigger than I was expecting, so now the purpose has kind of shifted and it's gonna be more decorative or like a table or a shelf. I worked with Chris and Reinhardt on the program and just kind of made these shapes organically the way that I wanted them to, and then we cut it out on the CNC machine. Given the fact that we're all given the same prop for the project and just how many different things have come out of everyone, it's been a real blast to see. It's just really fun watching their projects come together too because our ideas all shift and change as we go and we kind of get to stay up to date with each other on what's happening. It's awesome. I mean, you just see it go from a sheet of plywood to you know seven different things. So it's really cool to see how everybody takes it in a different direction.